dear friends, today I am going to tell a beautiful story of the monkey and the crocodile. A long time ago, there was a monkey who lived in a rose apple tree by the side of a river. He lived alone but was very happy. One day, a crocodile came out of the river. He swam up to the tree and told the monkey that he had travelled a long distance and was in search of food as he was very hungry. The monkey offered him a few rose apples. The crocodile thanked him and started visiting monkey every day. They would share the rose apples and talk about everything they knew. The crocodile told the monkey that he had a wife that they lived on the other side of the river. The crocodile's wife loved the rose apples but she grew, she grew jealous of her husband spending so much time away from her in the company of his new friend. The crocodile convinced her of his friendship with the monkey. She asked her, her husband to invite his friend home so that she could meet him. But the crocodile was not happy about inviting his friend home. So the wife thought of a plan. She pretended to be very ill and told the crocodile that the doctor had said that she could get well only if she ate a monkey's heart. If her husband wanted to save her life, he must bring her his friend's heart. The crocodile went to the rose apple tree and invited the monkey home to meet his wife. The monkey was very happy and angry. The crocodile told the monkey that he could ride across the river to the, to the other bank of his back. On reaching the middle of the river, the crocodile began to sink. The frightened monkey asked him, Why was doing so? I want to kill, said the crocodile. My wife is ill and she can recover only if she eats a monkey's hurt. The monkeys were shocked and started thinking fast. The monkey said crocodile, Crocodile, but I forgot my heart on the tree. The crocodile turned back and swam as fast as he could to the tree. When they reached the monkey climbed up the tree to safety. The monkey said, now you can go back to your wicked wife and tell her that her husband is the biggest fool in this world. Then ashamed the crocodile went back to his home. Moral of the story. Your kindergarten can save you from problems. Thank you.